Welcome back to the channel. Well, I made a boo boo on the uh, on the flywheel. Not a not a bad bad boo boo, but I put my seal in backwards. So and like usual, wasn't able to save it getting it out, so I had to order a new one. So I'm gonna put that back in. This is supposed to be in this way, not that way. So I'm gonna redo that. Uh, I think it was Peter Horton out there. And, over there in England, he was asking, I put some sealer around the seal to put in there. And that's the Permatec Aviation Sealer um, for my gasket stuff. It's just uh, really sticky, but thin, you know, it doesn't, uh, it's not like silicone-ish, you know, it's not like that. It, but it does a really good job sealing things in. It's just a little extra insurance. You don't have to do that. There's no law or, you know what I'm saying, rule, I guess. But, uh, all right, well, I'm going to put this back in. Put the bearing back in, put it back on the tractor, then I'll bring it back. Okay, well, clutch, or not sorry, flywheel is back on. Finally, not finally, I should say. Retorqued, and I did put grease on that seal there. I don't have the proper alignment tool, and I don't have a stub shaft that, uh, you know, a bad one, an input shaft or whatever, um, to put in there, but this socket here, fits in there into the uh, um, the seal there and this basically will fill up the uh, the clutch area <clears throat> to help line up everything here so I did like I said I put grease in there that's fairly tight it's not super tight but it's tight enough for what we're gonna do I have had in the past where I loosely put on the pressure plate and could reach up through the uh i don't know if you can see it in the dark or not here i'll see if i can move that well maybe you'll be able to see here there you can see that hole right there you can reach up in there then retighten your uh, uh pressure plate up if you have to i have done that before as well um but it's would be nicer um one of these days i'm gonna get a hold of a a, a bad a bad input shaft or you know you know what i'm saying just to use for a uh, alignment tool so but not today okay so I thought this was supposed to be a reman clutch disc here but man does it look brand new <laughs> wow eat wow so all right I if I can see it in there oh okay and to swap out sockets <sighs> Okay. All right. For now, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it together. Like I said, I was have been done before. Um, I don't have the right the right saw. I thought I did, but I don't. It doesn't hold it up there, but you still gonna be able to get the socket out after you get everything aligned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the pressure plate on uh, fairly loose. Put the tractor back together. I can reach up through that hole and physically reach my hand up in there and just turn this. So then it aligns with there, but then we'll still have to align the input shaft, I'm sorry, the PTO shaft into the PTO hub in there. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, made up my mind but uh, this I do know is a brand new pressure plate that I do know there. got that one started handy little spot right here you gotta remind me too that that nut or that, that bolt there was missing <clears throat> and then uh okay <clears throat> i need to clean that hole out and uh find another bolt fit in there but that one was missing so Oh, 
And I did hear some good news, well, kind of good news, about my 1050 diesel. So if you're new to the channel, I did some horse trading. Um, I have a, had a 1050 diesel that I bought out of Canada from a friend of mine. And, uh, well, I, I bought a couple tractors. One of them was in three pieces, and it was a uh, white 2150, which for those who don't know, that is, uh, you know, uh, has a Minneapolis Moline 585 diesel motor in it. Anyways, so I uh, did some horse trading with a friend of mine, trade him the motor and said, hey, you want, he wanted that motor. And I said, why don't you just get this tractor running for me and I'll just give you this motor, you know, for, you know, just trading. So <clears throat> figuring that would work out. So it's just taking longer than we both anticipated. So yeah. He called me the other day and told me a few things that he's figured out. So, yeah, maybe in the near future, I'll be bringing that tractor home. It's not really a new tractor to me. It just hasn't been home in a while. Anyways, and if uh, you've seen a G1000 Vista in, in my videos, he owns that tractor too. That's That was a whole separate deal. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, I've been kind of keeping that tractor hostage. That was part of the deal that I'd, I'd deliver that Vista when he got my tractor run done. So, you know, because miles are miles. And, uh, and he was cool with that. I was cool with that. You know, sit here as long as I needed. So, yeah. So, sooner or later, it'll all be home. Right. You hope it'd be really cool if I can get that tractor home and uh take it to a plow day but we're, we're we're jumping the gun that's for sure all right let me grab a 9 16 and we'll tighten these up by hand a little more okay i rounded off the edge uh before i never had an edge rounded off and somebody suggested it and hey that's a great idea so all right i'll stick them babies in there this makes for an alignment tool or you know to help align i should say i just don't want to screw myself here's okay like it's going to hit you know the frame rails or whatever is what i was thinking so this one here will go up here this one i know will be okay all right i'm probably going to have to have help so and i know the boys are taking off early tomorrow morning I might see if my dad can help maybe but I'm gonna do as much as I can I'm gonna get it closer by myself but uh, yeah we'll try that Okay, getting closer. It's going slow. How close are we getting here? A couple more inches before my bar is hit. Okay. Let's see if I can keep all these out of the way. I'll move you, move you up here, I guess.
So that one's got to go down there. How are you looking over there? Okay. Doesn't mean my bolts are perfectly straight either. You know, and it could have squished my blocks as well. So. This is probably where it needs help. Anybody's close by, come on over. Okay, now I got it in both my dowel pins. Uh, I just called my buddy Nate and said, hey, I'm, I'm to the point where I need help, but uh, I'm getting close. We are getting close. Okay. One problem I'm gonna have, I think though, is my uh, sawhorse is gonna be in the way for lining up the clutch. But we'll get her close. We'll get her close, yeah. All right. All right, I'll see if I can just push it. Okay, well, as you've seen in the last clip or so there, I had to replace my seal on there because I put it in backwards. But anyway, so um, what I like to do with these tractors, I didn't show it because um, it took kind of long, but I like to just set the pressure plate and clutch on the shaft in there, uh, actually on the, the rear end side. And because uh, there's, a, you know, that big hole right there. You can get in there and tighten up all the bolts for the pressure plate once it's in there. That way, oh man, I got oil all over my hair. Oh boy. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> that way you only got to you only have to line up one set of splines, uh, which would be the the PTO shaft, uh, <clears throat> you know, into the PTO hub on the back side of the flywheel. Just uh, that's something I do. Um, I've done it the other way as well, and uh, it just takes a little more time seems like and then uh, this way you can get lined up better and uh yeah i'm getting stuff out of my hair <laughs> shower is in my future so oh well my hair won't rust right <laughs> anyways i got nathan over here from bruce farms incorporated nathan his family have a youtube channel you want to check them out too he owns this tractor him and his son uh this is their baby so he come over uh because my boys are busy well jake's at college nick uh Actually, he's got a little sore knee today from the football game last night. So he's uh, was supposed to be going fishing today, and uh, I don't think that's happening. But anyway, so Nathan took time out of his day to come over and help me push this thing together. So we're about ready to, to finish the, the last of it. So um, I do have dowel pins in there, which I think I showed on one of the recent uh, clips here. But uh, yeah, we're going to get this thing together, and hopefully by the end of the day, we'll hear this running. So all right. Nathan, we should be able to crank on that a little bit more. Oh, I gotta pry this. Oh, pry that out. Yeah, you pry I bar? Need bar. I left it over there on the tire. Oh, good. I'm gonna move it anyways because it's probably gonna fall off. Okay. Ping! That'll make our life a little easier if you get that off there. All right. Trying to get everything situated here for the people. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, let's crank her up a little bit. Ready? Yeah. Let's go slow. Okay, where'd that pry bar? I just want to turn the fly a little bit more, just just because. This is something you definitely don't want to force. Because you can break something. All right, let's see if she goes some more. Oh, I get that. All right. Yeah, don't break, don't break the strap. Okay. Let's see if we're close enough to uh, grab. I'm not here. Almost. Okay. Sometimes you wiggle, wiggle the motor a little bit. She ain't gonna wiggle. <laughs> nope. Okay. All right. I'm gonna regroup my register over here. 
Uh, a little bit for your just a little bit. Yep. That's what I was thinking too. All right. I'm pretty snug still. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn, turn the flywheel a little bit more. Just, uh, I don't think, I think it's the PTO part. It's probably what we're, because that's the last part in there. It helps to turn PTO. Oh, uh, the PTO is on. You can, we can put a pipe wrench on the PTO as well. Uh, I had a pipe wrench handy, but I didn't get another one. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> I got a pipe wrench. Oh, yeah, so did I. I got a pipe wrench. Here's another one. Got it? Yep. Because it should be turning. Is it turning? You're really slow. Is it turning? No. They were not in there all the way yet then. Do okay. you want me to move it a little bit or no? Yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, I can turn by hand. Okay, it's not in the splines then. Okay. All right, I think the front end's gotta come up a little bit, yeah. Cause my dowel's on an angle over here. Okay. All right, let's try it now. All right, I'll turn the fly again. Should, here, kind of a little pop. Just a little one, you know what I mean? Yeah, you act like it needs to come up. My double sitting. Okay, so I got about 15 sixteenths there. Underneath, I got, I think, I got less. Okay, but it looks like, looking here, the engine needs to come up a little bit. Right? Yeah, the engine does. Yeah. At least it's showing on this dowel. Right. Well, well, yeah, because now my dowel's loose, but. Okay. anymore okay how about the uh, the main double pin that's on the tractor itself you know what I mean it's right underneath my pin can you oh, see the light there's no smoking in here <laughs> you need carb cleaner you know, Something I can spray real quick in there. There's a bunch of rust and I can't see if it's lined up. Yeah. Or a shot of air, I don't care. Yeah. Air is really hard to get right now. My air compressor is retired. There we go. Okay. Shut up, dog. You're a day late in a dollar store. Hey! Say it looks like it's in the hole. Okay, mine's mine's close. Yeah, mine's actually in. Okay. okay. Hello. Oh, I get too too wiggly. Okay. Looks like your gap smaller than mine. Is it? You're yeah. you're behind. Yeah. Okay. It anymore. Yep. Let me... Yeah, there's no more to be had on my side. Okay. Unless that pin's just bound up just well, a little bit. Well, that's what I'm wondering here. Do we got a little punch? I can just kind of give it a ting and see if it'll. A ting? A ting. Go up or down, but I'll try it both ways. Thank you. Gets a lot smaller down here. Yeah. Yeah, because the bar don't even fit in there. Okay, let me uh, let me let the front jack down just a little bit here. Okay. That actually line this hole up. It looks like a little bit better. Yeah. Okay, look at here, boys and girls. We got her together, just about. <clears throat> we didn't force it, took our time. 
Um, nope. Nobody was ever scared or nervous or... <laughs> and uh, nobody swore. So just, you know, these big old tractors, just, just take your time. So, all right. Yeah, go ahead and get as many bolts as you can in. Where are the bolts? Oh, right here. That's why there's some of them. I got some of them. There's some right, should be right there. Um, yeah, oh, yep. Yeah, they're not the real, the real big ones go into your uh, sides. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Can't wait to get these hydraulic lines hooked back up. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> keep, keep dripping on me here. Right. Bottom's in still just a little bit closer. Okay. Well, we can tighten up the top. I can let the uh, um, jack down too here in a second. You want to turn it and see if the PTO's moving? Yeah, I'm sure it is now. But. We can. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Better be. No, if we got bigger issues. Yeah. Get my block out of the way. That way I let the jack down. Okay. Hmm. Here's my prayer bar. I think that pipe wrench is still on there. So. You can hear the ears. Yeah. Should be turned. There it goes. I heard. I heard the pipe wrench. Oh yeah, we're moving it. Okay, that's figure. So, all right, let me tighten this up a little more. I should get the pipe and can take this uh, guide one out. Yeah, they're just hand in their hand tight, so they should come right out. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, cool. So I'm gonna get these all, uh, get this uh, all these bolts tightened back up. And all the bolts in the frame and we'll start on the hydraulic lines and get the fuel tank on and nathan's going to bring me some oil yep. so before we start this tractor back up i don't put some oil in it and uh yeah we're making progress hopefully by the end of this video we'll have it running and driving wouldn't that be sweet nathan yes it would yeah. look always a good feeling when Plan comes together. All right. Come on. Man. I've had. I, you need a, a pair of pliers or channel locks or. I was thought these would have grabbed it. Yeah. Maybe channel locks and okay. vice grips. Well, you tell me what you want. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I probably just had to get it started. Yep. This is this is the second tractor I've used these double guide things in. Yeah. It must be bent just a little bit. Oh, I'm sure they are. So I had to bend them a little bit to get them and get the thread started. Cool. Right. Oh. I'm talking to the camera now. <laughs> Somebody was ask, asking that, uh, you know, how come I don't have a, a fancy splitting stand? Well, this stand has been working great for me. I split quite a few tractors with this stand, or I, I don't call it stand, but my system here. How, how's that? But anyways, but the brain trust is working on a nice one. <clears throat> so that's a, uh, Hopefully that all all turns out the way he wants and um, Well, uh, it's gonna be uh, for, well, At least the first prototype is gonna be for Minneapolis Moline specific tractors. So, you know, I was talking to a guy hmm. Yeah, not too long ago. What's the matter? How are you just going? The frame ones aren't matching up. Oh, you gotta move the frame rails. Yeah. The big ones. Yeah, we, let's get the other ones tightened first. Yeah, because that, that'll screw you. It gives you more room if they're not tight tight all right i mean if you get these tight first but anyways he was talking that his mechanic that uh, he uses you know looked at you know some buying a, a commercially made splitting stand you know and said yeah they're okay and all but they're not exactly what you know fits his needs is what he said so he made his own so so the first ones that 
Jake's going to make. It's going to fit Minneapolis Moline tractors. And I probably won't get rid of this trolley air system, but it works pretty good. You know, I got these heavy duty saw horses here that I've used many, many times, They're made out of oak. And then uh, I do have a ratchet wrench here somewhere. Um, anyways, so that's what that's the plan there for the future. Um, we'll uh, continue using what I have for now. It's paid for, so you know. And I don't split tractors every day, but it seems like I do at least one a year. Um, this year, well, I shouldn't say this year, but. Within the next six months, I think I'll have another one to split. Are you or two. Them all the way? Yeah. Yes, sir. So. Found your ratchet wrench. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot nicer than <laughs> what, you, what you were doing there. But, yeah. uh. That'd be pretty cool. If that all works out for Dick. So. I think he's going to Ohio next weekend. He did Either going hunting or scouting for hunting, I guess. I don't know. I was trying to talk my wife and let me find some tractors and bring them home from vacation. That's a good idea. That's what I thought. Bring some yellow ones home for me. Well, there's probably quite a few down there. Yeah. Where are you going, Arizona? Arizona, Scottsdale. Oh. The kids tell you what day the party was? That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, we'll get the rest of these bolts all tightened up. <laughs> I have two over here I can get to. Okay, I'll get them. Then uh, then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, well, got the frame bolts in, um, the side rails of the engine rails in. All the ones on that side are hooked up. Um, I still got this lube line to hook up here. I just rotated it out of the way. Oh. Can I do this with one hand or not? Oh, probably not. So. Get you some light as well. Hey, and that's good for me too, right? All right. <clears throat> okay. Get her started. We are on downhill slide. Getting this, getting this thing back together. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nate was talking they're gonna repaint this tractor. I don't, I don't know. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna power wash it off and then then decide. So um, I, I probably should have power washed this at least this area before I would start working on it, but it's just the timing wasn't right. Uh, get it in here. I could have took the time, I guess, but I wanted to get it inside. It was supposed to start raining and so so I could get keep working on it, but uh yeah, I've been been busy the last few days. Um, football games and uh, other things going on. So, as of right now, this is not my uh, full-time job. So, <laughs> I work on stuff when I can. All right. There's that. There's that. Okay. So we could put the starter back on. Where'd you go? Put the starter back on. We gotta do that yet. Um, I still gotta clean out this hole here too and find another bolt that matches this one, which I think is I think is one of these. I'm sure I have one around here I can do, but now would be the time to do it. So I'll just leave that one right there for now. Take my pick and I'll clean out this hole and I'll probably have to run a tap through it to clean it out as well. So I'll get all that done um, in a bit. You know, I'll just leave that right there. Let's grab the starter and we'll put the starter on. How's that? I see the starter didn't lose any weight. Come on, baby. Gotta get in there just right. She'll slide in there, but come on. There you go. I knew you'd see it my way. Okay. One, two, three. Let's see. 
Nee. Okay. Well, we haven't had rain for probably a good a good two weeks. Um, I think some people got some rain last night. They were saying some of the football games got delayed last night for lightning and such. So, so anybody that's already got their stuff off, you know, harvesting, that's a bonus. I rode my brother a little bit yesterday in the combine. He was thrashing beans and dad was doing corn. So, I didn't take the camera along, not this time. But maybe here later, I'll get some footage of that for us. For ya. So, all right. Okay, I'll get this all hooked back up. And I'll bring you back. Okay, well, that basically is all buttoned up back there for now. Uh, Nate just told me uh, he was here, dropped off some hydraulic oil for this tractor, which I'm sure there's at least five gallons on the floor in here, but it is what it is. So he said he's gonna, they're gonna power wash it and uh, when they get her back home, so I don't have to put any more sheet metal on. So, okay, sounds good to me. So, well, let's put some oil in it. I'm sure it's low. There he's back now. He's supposed to be bringing some batteries. So, oh, and of course, my funnel's too big. So, we're gonna do it this way. Didn't bring a boy with you? I can't find him. <laughs> Camera's on, just so you know. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, we'll do it this way. Hopefully these batteries are charged. Yeah. Well, they work. Yeah. Well, that's good. I brought five more gallons of fuel too. Oh, that's probably a good idea to put that in there too. Here, this is working just fine. There shouldn't be a whole lot of air in there, but it's going to be some air. But. Yeah. Did you bring any ether just in case? Uh, I've had some, so if you didn't, but no, I'd rather use yours than mine. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully five gallons is enough here. Yep. Sure, the hydraulics are full of air too. Yeah, we're gonna crash something. Yeah. Maybe. You think I should put some sea foam in it? I don't know. I Maybe. Oops. Double check to see where we're at here. We get her running. You don't wanna. Recheck this hydraulic oil as well. Hmm, took all five gallons. Easy enough. I can see it in there. Oh, it's be on the stick. Oh, you're right there. We check the batteries. Okay. Please. Cool it. I can see it. That's good. I can touch it. That's good. Okay. Yeah, it'll help. It'll help it start too. So, okay. 
Well, well I'll hit, we'll get the batteries hooked up and fire up. I hope. Now we record. All right, let's fire up. Okay. Take the brakes are off. Give her some throttle. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Tied up. <laughs> Found an oil line I didn't put on. <laughs> she fired right up though. That was cool. We gonna need some wrenches. Yeah. Okay, let's do her again. Got our oil line <laughs> patched in. things to be fixed but now she runs and drives all on her own i put it in second gear or third gear got to clutch all the way in <laughs> so we're in there we gotta adjust the clutch yet right. all right oh that's reverse <laughs> there you go first time driving this tractor Yeah, that fuel pump I think needs some attention yet too, but at least you'll move on her own. Ample torque works, brakes work. Awesome. All right, we need to adjust the clutch a little bit, but uh, but I didn't adjust it. Um, from where it was she'll shift a little bit better for him so all right well we'll cut the video here running and driving oliver 2055